Hold on to your seats because you are about to witness the moment when a transit van full of burglars rams several police cars as they try to run away before swapping their vehicle for a BMW and again ramming more police cars. But thanks to the great work of the police officers and police dogs involved, all three of the thieves in the van were caught by the police and put before the courts. But not before they had caused misery to their victims and damaged several police vehicles. So make sure you stay tuned for the full story. The incident started in North Yorkshire in June 2022. The thieves in the white transit van had already stolen a quad bike with a crop sprayer and a Ford Fiesta from the same address. When the victims saw the thieves, they tried to stop them but were rammed. The three thieves managed to run away and steal the white transit van in this footage. Behind the stolen van was a wood chipper the thieves had taken from a local holiday park. They also stole tools and other machinery. At this point, the unmarked police vehicle behind the stolen van, not knowing any of this, tried to speak to the driver of the van about the fact that the wood chipper had been left in the road. The police officer got out of his police car and walked over to the van as the thief behind the wheel was turning the vehicle around to go back for the stolen wood chipper. At this point, the thief floored it, almost dragging the police officer along with him. Thankfully, the police officer sustained only minor injuries. Behind the wheel of the stolen van was this individual, 25-year-old Charlie Dunn of Heathfield Drive in Hartlepool. Also in the van was 23-year-old Jack Setchell from Seaton Lane in Hartlepool. Remember, at this stage, the officer who spotted the stolen van with the stolen wood chipper being towed behind it was not aware that he had in fact caught up with several burglars who were responsible for a crime spree just several days before. At this point, the cowards in the stolen van tried to ram the police officer, but the officer managed to stay in the pursuit as more resources rushed to the area. Also in the van was 19-year-old Kieran Connor of Quillstar Road, Wheatley Hill in County Durham. Despite the best efforts of the three thieves, the police car they were trying to ram managed to outmaneuver them and stayed behind them for long enough to ensure that backup arrived on the scene. Despite the ordeal that they subjected the police officer to, he managed to get away with only minor injuries. Just in the nick of time, a marked police BMW arrived on the scene and took up the pursuit. And it wasn't long before 25-year-old Charlie Dunn turned his attention from the unmarked police vehicle to the marked police BMW as he tried to ram it off of the road. Despite the best efforts of the two police drivers to keep up with the stolen van, both of their vehicles sustained damage and were unable to carry on with the pursuit. However, the control room were able to send more assets to the area, including an ARV and a dog unit. There was no way that North Yorkshire police were going to let these oxygen thieves get away with what they were doing. The stolen van sped off past the Grapes pub in Great Hapton and onto a narrow track. It smashed through a metal gate into fields to the south of the village where it went out of sight, but it was now in an area that was quickly surrounded by officers in every direction. The abandoned stolen van was located by response team officers shortly later. After the van was located, two firearm support unit vehicles got behind a black BMW X3 with three people inside on Great Habton Lane, heading south towards Nisham Bridge where more police vehicles were positioned. The BMW, now being driven by Setchell, fails to stop and both police vehicles are damaged after being reverse rammed. The BMW made off south towards the B1257 and then goes straight over a junction and up a gravel track in the direction of Cornishthorpe. Dash cams mounted in the police vehicles capture the heart-stopping moment when Setchell tries to ram them off of the road. Again, thankfully, the police officers sustained only minor injuries. It was only by sheer luck that no police officers or innocent members of the public were seriously injured during the shocking display of appalling driving. The three burglars in the stolen van might have temporarily got away, but thankfully, eagle-eyed members of the public spotted what had happened and saw the three running off, at which point they phoned 999 and directed the police towards the location. 19-year-old Kieran Connor was found hiding in a bush behind a water treatment plant. He was later given a three-year community order and was told to carry out 300 hours of unpaid work and 50 days of rehab activities. 
He was also banned from driving for 12 months and will face two years behind bars if he fails to comply with the sentence. The judge also acknowledged, quote, his low intelligence, unquote, and that he had been encouraged to commit the crimes. Dunn pleaded guilty to one house burglary, three farm building burglaries, theft of a quad bike, and three lots of aggravated vehicle taking and assaulting a police officer. He was sent to prison for four years and six months. He was also banned from driving for five years. Setchell pleaded guilty to one house burglary, three farm building burglaries, theft of the quad bike and two counts of aggravated vehicle taking. He was sent to prison for four years. But what do you think of the sentences that were handed down? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, any comments or questions which are sent with a super thanks will always be guaranteed an answer by a member of our team. DC Abby Sims from the Scarborough Investigation Hub said, the series of crimes committed by Dunn, Setchell and Connor on the morning of the 2nd of June last year are shocking and disgraceful. Not only did they ruthlessly target rural communities in Rydale without any hints of remorse, they also endangered the lives of police officers who were called in to help the burglary and vehicle theft victims. In the wrong hands, a motor vehicle can be a deadly weapon and it is plain to see that Dunn and Setchell were more than willing to reverse ram the police vehicles in their effort to evade arrest and escape justice. Despite the extensive upset, anger and damage they inflicted that morning, North Yorkshire police would not let them get away with it. Dunn and Setchell are now facing up to the reality of life in prison and Connor has been made subject to the most severe community order for his role in the offences. Our message is clear to other cross-border criminals that they enter North Yorkshire and the city of York at their peril. We will do everything in our power to keep our communities safe and secure. But we're interested to know what you think. Do you think that as soon as they tried to ram the police, then more serious charges should have been given to the two drivers straight away? Let us know in the comments below. Of course, police officers deserve to go home each night uninjured. And the only way that this will happen is if the courts start coming down hard on anyone who tries to hurt an emergency worker. But share your thoughts with us in the comments and remember any comments or queries or questions which are sent with a super thanks will always be guaranteed an answer. And if you'd like to help support our team of former emergency services personnel, as well as getting access to content that we don't share on the main page, then please consider becoming a member of our YouTube channel. Think of YouTube's channel membership as their version of Patreon and you'll find the link pinned in the comments below. We'd like to thank our existing channel members for their continued support and we'd also like to welcome Adam Teske to our channel membership. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Also, we have a free newsletter and it's the only way to ensure you never miss any of our videos or stories. Click on the link in front of you now.